In this video, we will be discussing the top 5 George Mikan cards and why investing in them is a great idea. George Mikan. He is the original big man. Mikan was a three-time first team All-American in college. He was a two-time Helms Player of the Year and Sporting News Player of the Year in 1945. Mikan led the National Basketball League in scoring in 1948 and was named the most valuable player that same year. He was also named to the All-NBL First Team twice and won two NBL championships. Mikan was a five-time champion and a four-time NBA All-Star. He led the NBA in rebounding and was named the NBA All-Star Game MVP in 1953. Mikan was a three-time NBA scoring champion as well. After his fantastic career, he was named to the NBA 25th and 35th anniversary teams. Mikan was also named the greatest player of the first half century. He was named to the NBA 50th anniversary team in 1996 and will be on the soon-to-be-announced NBA 75th anniversary team. Mikan's number 99 was retired by the DePaul Blue Demons and Los Angeles Lakers. He will always be remembered as a legend, and his nickname Mr. Basketball attests to his dominance on the court. What's up everyone? Welcome back to Grace Trading Post. To continue learning lessons about the values of cards, and which players' cards are bet at the highest prices, make sure you like, subscribe, and take a look at my Instagram account, at Grace Trading Post. There are numerous cards available on my page. Let's get started. First, here's a 1948 Exhibit Sports Champions George Mike and Rookie, graded 5.5 by SGC. This is an awesome vintage card. It gives you a look at what basketball uniforms used to look like. These older cards are very hard to find in great condition because basketball is an afterthought at that time in sports history. Four of these cards have been graded 5.5 by SGC, and only six have been graded higher. Because of this card's rarity, it sold for $525 on eBay. Next up is this 2003 Upper Deck Legends Championship Numbers George Mike and Auto, numbered out of 99 and graded 9. It has a nice blue on-card auto that combines well with the design and color of the card. There are only 99 made, and the card has a high grade. This could be even cooler if it was the 99th card made, because that was George Mikan's number. Because of the low serial number and high grade, this card sold for $576. The card shown is a 2012 Panini Prism George Mikan Prism Silver, graded 10. This is an interesting piece because it is a modern card, but it is just as rare if not harder to find than some of Mikan's vintage cards. I love the Prism Refractor shine on this. I think it's pretty cool that Panini made this card with a black and white photo of Mikan. It gives the card a vintage look. Three of these cards have been graded by PSA, and this is the only card that was given a grade of 10. This beautiful card sold for $950 on eBay. What you see here is a 1951 Wheaties George Mikan hand cut card graded 10. It's crazy that this card is in such great shape after being hand cut. The most surprising thing is this is not the only card like this graded 10. There have been a total of 70 graded by PSA, and 14 have received a grade of 10. Because of the age and it having to be cut by hand, it is shocking that there are 14 of these with a perfect grade. Even though there are more of these with high grades than other vintage Mikan cards, it is still very rare. Because of this, the card sold for $995. This next piece is the most valuable George Mikan card. It is a 1948 Bowman George Mikan Rookie graded 10. This is the Honus Wagner Wayne Gretzky of basketball cards. Trading Post Tip This is the version with red ink on his jersey. There are four other variations of this card that have been authenticated. 303 of these cards have been graded by PSA, and this is the only one graded 10. It would sell for hundreds of thousands more than it did in 2009 because of the ever-increasing value of vintage basketball. However, in 2009, this card sold for $403,664. I wish I had some high-end George Mikan cards, but I do not at the moment. So instead, here is another high-dollar card of his. This is a 1948 Kellogg's George Mikan Rookie graded 4. It is a fairly cheap purchase for a card featuring a legend, and is his rookie card. There are 15 of these cards graded 4 by PSA, and the highest grade this card has received is an 8. Even though it is a vintage rookie card of a legend, this sold for only $350. Here are the reasons behind George Mikan cards being a great investment. First of all, he is one of the greatest to ever play the game of basketball. He is also a player that set the stage for Bill Russell, the Magic and Bird era, and every other great team after that. He was the benchmark for every great player coming into the league, even guys like Wilt Chamberlain and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. As the basketball market is growing, so are George Mikan cards, and that's ultimately why I think George Mikan is a great investment. Thank you for watching the video. If you like this content and want to see more, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and check out my Instagram account, at Grace Trading Post. There are many cards for sale or trade on my page, but if you do not see a player you want, message me, and I'll see if I have the cards you're looking for. Also, if there are any players you want me to do a video on, make sure you comment your choices down below, and always remember to go do good.